coming to you live on this Tuesday night. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Chicago Bulls as they go up against the Los Angeles Lakers here in Staples Center. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. to grind it out type of game, don't we, Clark? These teams love to operate in the half court. I agree with you. These are two well-coached squads, Kevin. They run their sets. They execute their offenses, play with tremendous poise. I'm excited to dig into this one. Passes it to Boozer. Dang for three. Offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. Yeah, you want to see Boozer hit the boards, utilizing that big, strong body there on the offensive glass. Gasol in the high post, working on Noah. Up top, Kobe. Against Golden State, he was really on his game. Down to five on the shot clock. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And when you foul Brian, you really got to foul him, or else he's going to make it an M1. Lakers shooting their first free throw of the evening. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in, in terms of their attempts, 81%. Really, guys, it's just come together for them at the charity stripe this season. I mean, the confidence is there, and so, too, are the results. Here is Rose. Incredible numbers looking at his scoring averages. He's currently scoring more than 28 points a game. Rejected by Gasol. Now here's Bryant. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Driving in, and Bryant slams it in. You see the number of moves Kobe has, more than capable of creating for himself with that hammer. Outside Corver. Back to Rose. From past the arc, it's good from long range. How about that screen by Noah? And so Fisher will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, and, and that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. And the hustle. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Tell you what, Rose can get flashy with the best of them. Odom with a screen on Corver. The drive by Bryant, bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Bryant against Corver, poked away, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Lamar Odom. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Dang against our test. Just five on the clock. Dang passes to Boozer. There's the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. High post shot. And there's Corver on the assist by Rose. Rose, a very solid floor general. I think that's an underrated part of his game. He's excellent at finding his teammates. Outside, Bryant. Here's Gasol, and finished off by Gasol. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Kobe against Corver. Here's Rose. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. 
And that's just strong, tough action from Rose there. Staying in control and getting the job done with authority. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And on the season, you know, only shooting around 73%, so not necessarily where he'd like to be. Guys, he is close to where he was last year in that category, but uh, his numbers are still down just a scope. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last out. Matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the strike. He was feeling it. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity strike when he gets his opportunity. And the Bulls making a change here. Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. Brewer comes in for Lou Aldang. Keith Bogan, he's checked in for Kyle Corvin. And it's Watson in for Derrick Rhodes. Outside, Kobe. Pass to Fisher. Bryant looking around. And he banks in the lane. Bryant's got 11 points. Great start for him. 4-4. He could be in for a big game. Certainly looks that way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip. This is his first trip to the line tonight. That free throw, no good. You know, at this stage in his career, Watson remains a very valuable role player. He's somebody you can trust given his vast experience in the league. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Walton comes in for Gasol, and it's Brown in for Kobe. Lakers have gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. Here's Fisher. Feeds it to Odom. The kick out to Brown. Left side, Odom. From down in the low post, it goes. We know Lamar Odom has the jumper in his book bag, but I want to see him at 6'10 doing that work inside. Hogan's passes to Gibson. Here is Bogans. He's covered by Brown. Bogans can't get it to go. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And here's Fisher. Eight points his last outing. It's Odom high post. Here's Walton. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And it looks like they are. The previous play is under review. In time. And the NBA replay center in Secaucus is queuing it up. And, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. Yeah, that's how it looked to me. And that's the call we should see here. But no harm in going back to the footage and making absolutely certain. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for Los Angeles. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We'll return shortly. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. I really like how they're knifing inside with confidence, exploiting any openings they see in the defense, taking advantage. And also, they're doing something you don't see as much anymore, and that is converting time and time again from the mid-range. And the basket by Rose. You've got to take Rose seriously from there now. I mean, he's capable of doing some major damage from distance. Fisher with the ball. Now guarded by Gibson. Martez kicks to Fisher. Buries the long-range jumper. 
Fisher's got the lead. Back up to three now for the Lakers. Rose against Fisher. Thomas a screen on Fisher. Here's Rose. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Clark, this is game two of a back-to-back, -back, and these guys have got to be pretty worn out, I would think, at this point. Well, you know, Kevin, you'd be surprised. Game day gives you a rush of adrenaline, and you find a way to ramp yourself up. And, you know, this is really where all your conditioning pays off, being able to play day after day. These are the best and most highly conditioned athletes in the world, in my opinion. Omer Ashkul, he's checked in for Thomas. Number three. And here is Los Angeles now. Here's Fisher. He takes it in. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Fisher's got five. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Outside Gibson. Now the pass to Bogans. Back to Gibson. Pass to Bogans. Outside Rose. Gets himself open and drills it. Rose has got seven now in this quarter. You know, this is what Rose does best to me, guys. A scorer who attacks on offense with unbridled ferocity. So timeout, timeout called timeout. here. The first for Los Angeles. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game that we did not Timeout, timeout. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Timeout, timeout. And the Bulls making a change here. Joakim Noah, he's checked in for us. Hooser comes in for Tosh Gibson. Harold Dang has checked in for Ronnie Brewer. And it's Corvin win timeout. for Keith Bogans. Timeout called the Lakers. And the Lakers with some changes. Gasol's checked in for Oda. And Bryant subbed in for Derek Fisher. Corver against Bryant. Passes to our test. Shot clock at five. Noah with the block. A uh, defensive stalwart. Noah's length is what allows him to erase shots. Here's Boozer. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Certainly knows how to get to the line. Boozer using that size of his to his advantage. And here's Kobe for three. Kobe from deep. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. Brown outside. Rose against Kobe. He feeds it to Gasol. Can't cash in from close range. And so it's Dang bringing it up for the bowl. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. Yeah, this is a great rivalry, guys. I mean, even though they're in opposite conferences, you look back and these teams have a lot of history. They really do. I mean, whenever they play each other, it means a little bit extra. These are two franchises, as you said, that uh, certainly have had their fair share of tangles in the pack. Bulls trail by four. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Boozer kicks to Rose. Noah with a screen for Rose. Pulls up. High post. And the rebound goes to Pau Gasol. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the results. Oh, what a creative jam by Kobe. And how fun is it watching Kobe take flight? Uh, his throwdowns are down the pace. Ridiculous. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. CJ Watson, he's checked in for the Bulls. A fantastic string of games for him. Your Western Conference Player of the Week, Kobe Bryant. He's been absolutely electric 
for his team. The, the way he's been able to finish plays and just take a hold of the offense at that off-guard spot is more than deserving of recognition. Dang kicks to Boozer. Going inside and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. So ready to get physical. Boozer takes it to the inside of the defense. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfectly blind so far here in the second quarter. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing when to rise up and swat that one away. Now, here's Watson. He's covered by Brown. Pass to Corver. Goes up on the high post. Two points. That one goes. One of the game's best shooters, Corver, makes it look easy from anywhere on the floor. Gasol, a screen on Corver. From 18 feet away. Here's Kobe. Oh, the agility and finish of Kobe Bryant. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Well, that might be fair, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on, no matter how you decide to frame it up. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. The drive by Bryant and finish off by Bryant. And the amazing move, folks. Skillfully handling that rock and creating some space for himself. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Lakers. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. Back to the action in just a minute. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game, I mean, he has been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Odom with the screen for Bryant. And another basket for the Lakers. One of the most dangerous scores in the game. Bryant is taking no prisoners on the offensive end. Rose kicks to Corbin. Dang looking it over. And there's the drive. The kick out to Rose. And the three off target. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. The pass to Rose. Boozer with a screen for Rose. Trying to find Boozer, and he does now. Bulls moving the ball around. Just five on the clock. Tipped away. Dang, this is the boozer. No good that time. Lakers leading by nine. I hit the pass to our test. Up top, Kobe. He's covered by Rhodes. Kobe kicks to our test. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Fisher can't hit. Bulls trail by nine. Rose passes to Cork. Back to Rose. Boozer a screen on our test. Pass to Noah. At the elbow, Boozer. Over our test. It's Boozer missing. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Kobe kicks to Gasol. Outside, Kobe. 
A top pick in the June draft, point guard John Wall. Clark, what do you think about him entering the NBA? Kevin, I love his speed, and I'm really excited to see how he develops. I mean, he's so physical for a point guard. He's legit 6'4". He's long and rangy, almost 200 pounds. He's a guy who looks for others first as well. I'm excited to see his development. Brewer is checked in for the bowl. And the foul called on Kobe Bryant. That is his first foul of the game. And Los Angeles with some changes. Walton comes in for Gasol. And it's Brown in for Kobe. The Lakers on D. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. The kick out to Boozer. Back to Korver. Outside Boozer. Six to shoot. Over in the corner, Rose drives to the hoop, and it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Rose has got 16. Boy, this is peak Rose at his best, an attacking, slashing guard who breaks down the defense easily. Outside our test. The kick out to Walton for three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. It'll be just the fifth of this long seven-game road trip. Corver against Brown. Stolen by Artest. Odom uses the glass to finish the layup. Odom's got the lead up to 11 now for the Lakers. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. You take a look at Los Angeles. Things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. You know, for Los Angeles, they're proving that all the talk we heard about them in the preseason was warranted. What a role this group's been on here early on. It appears to me, though, that this group has all the ingredients for a special season. So for the Bulls, Taj Gibson's checked in for Noah. And it's Watson in for Rose. Our test on the win. Odom finds Brown. Odom with the screen for Brown. Takes it inside, and Shannon Brown with the slam. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing mm -hmm. for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And so Fisher will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. to Odom. Fisher outside. Just four to shoot. Stolen by Boozer. Now Brewer. Nothing on the board. On the wing, Corver. Walton defending. Brewer with the ball. Down low. Here's Gibson. And he finishes nicely on the way. Gibson's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Bulls. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. Here's Fisher. He has five. Here's Odom. And slam dunk by Odom. Oh, I love his savvy. His instincts are fantastic. Lamar Odom is a joy to watch play basketball. Here's Boozer. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's Los Angeles. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break.
Come on, everyone. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Bulls trail by 11. Outside Rose. Kicks it to Scalabrini. Trills the three-pointer. Scalabrini. Scalabrini's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. A splendid pass that time by Rose. And here's Fisher. Los Angeles timeout, timeout. calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he timeout, makes coming timeout. out of this timeout. And the Bulls making a change here. Johnson's checked in. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Well, during that last break, I listened in on Phil Jackson's huddle. He said to them, keep building this lead, guys. Don't take your foot off the gas. Keep working hard, run our stuff. Guys? All right, thank you, David. And the Lakers call time here. Al Gasol has checked in for the Lakers. Kobe comes in for Fisher. And here is Los Angeles now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And count it, the shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. I like how Bryant takes contact on the way up. This guy is very good at feeling out the defense. And and absorbing that contact and still capitalized. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. They've shown no let up. Penetration, knife it inside. The defense has to tighten it up if they want to slow this team down. You know, we've got to talk about how they've continued to force turnovers and turn those turnovers into points. They came out aggressive, and they've not let up. Let's a floater go. What focus from Kobe! Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Here's Rose, and the dunk by Rose. Well, you know, if you're the defense, that's all you can do. Rose is just a force on the offensive end. Lakers leading by 11. Outside, Bryant. Here's Gasol, and finished off by Gasol. Great anticipation by Gasol, converts off the miss. And Shannon Brown picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for the Lakers. Odom, he's jacked in for Walton. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Shannon Brown. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for the Bulls. Odom against Gibson. Ashik with a screen on Odom. Here's Gibson. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. A competent score from the mid-range. Actually, it may be his best part of his game. Gibson's solid at recognizing when that shot's available. Bryant has the open look. Releases from the wing and drills it. Kobe's got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. Here's Rose. Rejected by Gasol. Fantastic defense from Gasol there. Used his reach to get the block. And it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Joaquin Noah has checked in for us. Boozer comes in for Taj Gibson. And it's Dang in for Ronnie Brewer. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Bulls moving the ball around. Rose against Fisher. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Lamar Odom picks one up. And Boozer is a handful for defenses, which is why they compromise by fouling him. And so he hits both. To Clark, the topic of the NBA this year. How good will this Miami Heat trio of LeBron, Wade, and Chris Bosh be, in your opinion? Well, you know, it'll be interesting. During that infamous introductory press conference, Kevin, there was talk of multiple championships. And to me, that is what the goal should be. This trio is certainly good enough to make it happen. Fisher against Rose, screened by Boozer. Shoots from the baseline, rebound the Lakers. 
they can take their time on this possession. It would be a bad idea just give themselves a little bit of a break. Bryant again throws. Artest the pass to Kobe. Five on the clock. Inside. Stolen by Noah. Artest against Corver. Dang gets a wide open look. Here's Noah. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. And using all of his length there. Noah cleaning the offensive glass and able to put that one back home. Kobe on the drop. Oh, and the jam by Kobe. Here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. Boy, the guys on the bench loving every minute of that. Chicago calls timeout. They're down by 13. 129 left in the game. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. That one's good. The Laker lead has cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Corver. Fisher, the pass to Bryant. That's tipped. Stolen by Rose. Throws it up high. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. A nice silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feet. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Guys, I hope we get to see a few more of those. From deep, Bryant. That ball's nice feed that time from Odom. Bryant's got 40 points. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Lakers. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all game. And I think ultimately that earned the W. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. It sure is. It's just the two gamers since they're in opposite conferences, and you can bet they'll take the same approach right into game two they had tonight. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Kobe Bryant. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Now here's Kobe. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.